Welcome back, guys. It's still your show. Our show is What, what Women, Women Want. Want. Tell you, Amazing. There's, there's a lot of extravagance, fashionista, sweetness in the air. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let me introduce my awesome guest in the studio. And to my right, I've got Alajibi. 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 Actor, model, fan boy, no <laughs> pimples. Brian Aquara. Thank you very much. I don't know, like, He's I just mean, proud. That's all, all these names. Like, can, proud, can, we, can we take it again? I was just, <laughs> Excuse me, take what? I was just excited. Really, don't they right talk now. two times? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, to my far left, I've got the very gorgeous, pretty. She's sweet in the middle. Very I don't gorgeous. know, Sha, but I just think so. Oh, wow. Anyways, I've got you don't know Media. Nice. Let me salt it, huh? Media. Wow. Okay, Who so I've got people for a living. That's all right. That's I've all right. got media practitioner and a fashion entrepreneur, yeah. one and only Kiki. Woo! Thank you for having me. Kiki, I love the gold on you. It's okay. Can you borrow me that ring? As I borrowed my wedding ring. <laughs> is that a, I should borrow you my husband. That is the wedding ring? <laughs> James, She's getting wow. married too. So, so it's so gold. I don't understand so, how you I should borrow you my ring. <laughs> hey, so what did I tell my husband? I see you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm transferred you to. I'm sorry. I said, well, you're not another person, mister. <laughs> oh my God. No She's going to kill me for this borrowing yeah. I asked for. Yeah. You're welcome. You're so very much welcome. Thank so the set of what women want. Mm. Now, very quickly, what we were talking about today is lavish weddings. Mm. And we, we thought it important to talk about this topic mm. because it's what's putting women a lot want. of... No. <laughs> right? Wow, okay. <laughs> and I just finished chopping. That was, that was smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So we, we think many couples are, you know, entering into debt. Many people are, you know, creating financial troubles for themselves just because they want an extravagant and a mind-blowing wedding. Mm. Now, the question, let me start with the man, the only man in our midst. Mm. Is it very important to mm. have a lovish wedding from the point of a man? From the point. Thank you. Thank you for that question. Mm. I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> why is it, why is, it like <laughs> it? is that thick sweet on the lip? Are you licking mm. it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, you, know, you know, like, how they normally announce, like, before you purchase anything, they'll say, do you have the bill payers permission? Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, before you have a lavish wedding, do you have the bill payers' mm. permission? Mm -hmm. so okay, you now the bill payer. Mm -hmm. What do you think? As what women want, Abi. So I'm the bill payer. <laughs> so so you have to ask permission. So, um, <laughs> so okay, so now I'm just asking now, yeah. naturally, on your own point, do you mm -hmm. think it is important mm. to have lavish wedding? Do you think? Do you attach importance to mm. having a mind blowing, large? For example, if you want to get married now. How would you want it? Well, it has to be larger than life, man. It has to be mm, the so biggest thing that's ever happened. Oh, wow. I, mean, I, I once, just before we started this, I once heard somebody spent about 500 million on a wedding. Mm. That's, that's, what's up. that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's what you want, want to do. Man, you only live life once. You got to go big or go home. Like, that's how it is. That's how it's, that's that's how it's supposed to be. Are you sure it's the right person we have here? <laughs> no, but, but I mean, why are you? I mean, there are two different things, actually. Okay. There is, it's, it's one thing to have a big wedding. It's another thing to have an extravagant wedding. There are two different things. Okay. Mm. We're talking about the extravagant. Extravagant extra, extra. means an expensive wedding. Mm. For me, a big wedding means a wedding with a lot of people. Okay. I'm sorry. That's, that's because, I mean, I've been, to, two more sense. No, I've, seen, I've been to weddings where there are a lot of people and there's absolutely nothing special. It's not as if on the band we're having a bit of a day or Sonia deeply. Mm -hmm. It's not as if the cake is gay gay. So that's it's not as if the bride is wearing a dress gay gay. Everything is just normal. Maybe, maybe they have a big family and they just go a big venue and then there was a big wedding with a lot of crowd. Mm. Okay. So now, for me, an extravagant wedding is going to be when the bride pulls up in a Rolls Royce, or mm. she's wearing a, a, a little Louboutin, or mm. her cake is a Zig Zig Castle, Wang. or she's wearing a Vera Wang. Or but I bought her a Rolls Royce, so that's her car, not like as if she borrowed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's still part of it. Anyways, so for me, that's my idea of an extravagant wedding. It has, it has to is in the price. Mm. Mm. Was your wedding... Money? Was it extravagant? Was it lavish? So I, I, I feel like my wedding was in between. I wouldn't say my wedding was extravagant because my, 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 my parents are not politicians. They're business people who are already, they're already thinking that one million men or seven million. It's almost. They're <laughs> thinking that, okay, after this wedding, what do we do? But then, you know, I had basic things that I wanted. Mm. Things that were personal to me in the wedding were extravagant. Okay. But, but these are eyes for the public. Like the general consumption during the wedding was just, you know, normal. So my dress had to be very major, which was one of the things that made, yeah. made the wedding trend. Anyways, yeah. I mean, there was a bit of technology in the dress. 
and then I mean she's a, she's a designer, so she she does that. Yes, I mean we have to. I mean it's part so of So you had to put a bit of love, even if it wasn't completely love. Is, she had to is, give us that is, feed. Exactly. We know. We know. And like you know, you just want. This is basic. If you're a creative person and you work in the creative industry, you just want to do something new when you're doing an event. Oh, we catch so yeah, the dance floor, the wedding dress, the cake, everything was all lit up. I mean, so I would not maybe because I'm I'm from a big family. Like, Post my mom has 14 siblings, so I have to do something cousins. Ooh. So what do you expect? Uh, already, with the family member, you know, half of the oil is already full. Mm. <laughs> so really, mm -hmm. so I really, it was, it, before, before we had the wedding, there was a lot of, okay, let's do just the engagement, and then let's do, let's do, and then your bad parents will come with you, mm. oh, my parents did for me, I must do for you. If we do only engagement, they will think we cannot afford the wedding. If they think hey, so, that God, is their business. Hey, that is God, my business. Hey, let me, let me, let me, let me, sorry, let me ask Brian about this. Do you think mm. your parents are determining the lavish wedding of the couple? Do I think the parents are the ones who determine the lavish wedding? But usually it's not the parents though, it's the couple. Honestly for me, I think it's the person that is paying for the wedding. Oh. If I'm paying for my wedding, I will do it the way I want it. If my mm. parents, yes. it was basic. My dad literally <clears throat> said to me, if you are going to have your wedding in Lagos, then you have to sponsor it. Because I live in Lagos, all my friends are in Lagos. So he said to me, if that wedding has to happen in Lagos, then you're paying for it. So but if it happens in the way I live, then I pay for it. <laughs> so now I looked up about, okay, the cake, mm. the dance, mm. the decoration, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so for me, I feel like it's the person that oh is paying. God. Yeah. When my friends got married, when Simeon and Yadikuli got married, they were able to do a lot of things the way they wanted to do do it because, because they, they were sponsored the wedding. Please, how am I supposed to tell my dad that somebody that is sponsoring wedding, I'm telling him, no, that's the way I'm going to put it. They say, okay, no problem. But when I eventually get there, I don't find that table there. What do I do? I didn't pay the vendor. So, but my parents are extremely, they are liberal people. I literally had almost everything the way I wanted it, but there were some certain things I could not control, mm. which is most importantly the crowd. Now, Brian, let me ask you this, because Talk you see, me. the way Kiki is, is pointing it out, we yes. can understand that wedding was, you know, out there because mm. there was a sponsor. And you, on the mm. other hand, you said, you know, you can do it. If it's 500 million <laughs> naira dollars, mm. you can do it. You're putting this yeah. I, can, spot. I mean, if your budget is telling me, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't <laughs> work there. You know, we, can, we can work there as I do many things. We can even stop. Yes, we want an answer, Brian. So, okay. so now I, I, I want to ask you. Mm. Let's be realistic. Okay. Now, in a case where your wife to be wants mm. an extravagant wedding, mm -hmm. and what she's asking for, your pocket can't fit it. What would you do in that situation? Now, first of all, what she said earlier was you have to first of all know if it's actually an extravagant wedding or not. No, we're you talking know, about extravagant now. An extravagant okay. wedding. Okay, so if she wants an extravagant wedding and I can't afford it, then and you happen. love her, guy. And I love her. No, but <laughs> I, I would rather invest in her than to invest in the wedding. Straight up. But she wants it. She wants it. Shame you were talking about a movie you just acted. <laughs> no, that but we're being, but we're being realistic. realistic. You said I should be realistic. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're well, on the topic. So me being realistic, I mean, if she wants an extravagant wedding, I could just cut that bill in half and say, okay, this invest in yourself, and then this for the wedding. Okay, Simple so yeah, you're that. not fussy about having an extravagant or lavish wedding. Well, I'm not fussy about it because one thing I've learned to realize with time, not like as if, I mean, I've had a wedding of my own, but I mean, like all my friends are married and stuff. And I've attended like dozens of weddings. Mm. And what I see at the end of the day is that everybody wants some sort of fantasy attached wedding. Okay. You know, and most of the time, that's not extravagant. It just means that you want it in a certain way. Right. You, get, you want to mm. travel. Right, that's, or what, that's you, what I'm saying. Or you want it by the seaside or, you know, mm. like whatever, whatever dreams you've, you've had since you were a kid or since you've always wanted to get married. So sometimes attaining that is, is cheap. It doesn't cost anything. Mm -hmm. But sometimes attaining some things is really expensive. Right. Really expensive. You know, yeah. so it's, it's just really about beating the cost. Mm. You know what? I, 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 I think we're going to delve a bit, but before we delve to what the next question I want to ask both of you, let's take this to the internet. Yeah, we'll internet ask people on the net what they think about lavish weddings. Must you have a lavish wedding? Yes. Yes. Would you rather wedding? cut your coats? I call it to your side. <laughs> I live life well with your husband. And after you finish marrying now, you're not coming with So Gary. Say boring. Ah, <laughs> because we have those cases, actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's take this to the internet and we'll be right back after we'll the show. We'll be right break. back. Don't go anywhere.